Ladies and gentlemen, 29 FCK in the building! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you dude for, for uh, being here. Quite early where you are, I believe, but uh, for those that may not know you, sir, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug and promote anything and everything. Uh, I am Douche Nine, and... Uh... I uh, started a thing called 29 MCK. I uh, was born in Antarctica and I reside on the East Coast and probably one of the worst cities in the United States. What, what city is that? Uh, uh, <laughs> one of the worst. <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear you. We don't have to, we don't have to call it out, but uh, dude, uh, so, so why, why come to the States? Why, why move from, from Elephant Island out of curiosity? Well, I, you know, it's funny because I never resided there because there's no one resides there. But I was born on the coasts on a ship in Antarctica. Interesting. So, so Deuce Nine and, right? and Twenty Nine MCK are two separate projects. Yeah, like I started the projects with a buddy of mine, and uh, his name was MC Knowles MCK, and I was Deuce Nine, and we kind of had this thing. And I just kept it 29 MCK, and I don't know. I'll branch off eventually, probably. But for sure, um, you know. Hell yeah! Love your background, dude. Hell yeah! Are you are you well, a cannabis well, user? You <laughs> are you a cannabis <laughs> user yourself? Uh, no, I used to be. Uh, I had a traumatic brain injury, and it just doesn't it doesn't mend with me very well anymore. I got you. Uh, so, my 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 uh, co-host today is uh, is JB. He goes by JB Music Six Six One. Uh, this is Deuce JB. Hell yeah! Uh, nice so, to meet you. I want to. What's going on, JB? Before I toss it to JB for some questions, I want to know where did all the hatred for for Tom McDonald originate from? You know, I, I see. It's not even just about just him, but I feel like I, I can't just like talk about it as a group. But I feel like there's just a lot of artists out there that just they they find this this way of rapping to kind of like they're saying that they're waking people up and they're doing all this good for the world. What the fuck is he really doing? Tell me. Does he have anything that's even well known enough that's actually trying to help? He has the resources. It's true. He's got a lot. He of has resources. the resources. I don't. I'm fucking broke, dude. Like. I try to travel as much as I can. I mean, but it's not it's not that easy, you know. But Preach. here you got Tom McDonald claiming that he's this multi mega millionaire and talks all this shit and whatever, dude. Like I, I don't know. I just I feel like you gotta call out the big dog so all the little dogs that follow his ass, you know, can feel the wrath as well. I dig it for sure. If you uh, think about it, I'm just saying like uh, I go on, I, I, dude, I used to like Tom McDonald when he first came out. Like, I dug it. Like, he was a good lyricist. Like, he, he, but he got onto this bandwagon. I don't know if he started it or what, but I just feel like it's just not as authentic as you know, all these, all these people that are riding on his dick, you know, that they're all like, oh, Tom, we love you. Uh. You do so. You've helped. You've helped me uh, get off drugs. Like no, Tom didn't help you get off drugs. <laughs> you got off the drugs yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> for sure, uh, JB. What kind? What, what question do you have for Deuce? Right on. Uh, my question: You being on the East Coast, uh, are you an active uh, performer? Do you have like different shows lined up, or are you just more are you just making music and trying to get your message out? Yeah, it's it's not about getting noticed. It's not about being famous. It's not about like the money. Honestly, fuck it. Like I, I money doesn't make anybody happy, and I can't say that for a fact because I've never been rich, but. From the people that I know that have made money and that have money, and it's like you see a lot of these like uh, musicians out there that they're like, you know, they do it because they love doing it. It's about having fun. It's not about 
getting known and be living in a big house and having the fanciest car and you know it's it's not about that and that's that's i think that's the problem where our society is headed you know that's that's the standard now like we all want that's why they got tiktok that's why everybody wants to get on tiktok and make that one video that's going to get you know a billion views and they think that they're just going to live life like that <laughs> in leisure because that's that's the goal, I guess, for for the standard of society today. What so song? Like, uh, what happens when? I'm sorry. What? Sorry. What, what happens when everybody goes on TikTok and they leave their jobs so they can make money just doing videos? Who's going to do the work? It's a you valid know? question. Nuclear power plants are all going to blow up. Like we're all going to be dead. So no one's thinking about the big picture. They're thinking about right now because that's all they care about. What song of yours would you prefer we jam first? I've got some videos pulled up right here. You should be able to see on your screen or on my screen. I, honestly, I like we don't understand, dude. That's that's like my that's my baby right there. Although I do have another favorite that I haven't let out yet. An exclusive. I actually got my videos are very low budget. Like they're very simple. I don't have the, the resources. I don't have the friends to help out. You know, I'm kind of like a lone wolf. So, for that matter. Yo, I kid you not. I thought it was a fur coat behind you, and then it started moving, and I was like, what the f***? And then I realized it was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> We're hanging out with Deuce9, yeah. uh, a.k.a. 29MCK. That's his other project. We're jamming right now. If you if you guys enjoy this one, please hit the subscribe button. Support him. This is called We Don't Understand. It's like, I want to get everybody to start saying, fuck him, you know, because that's what it is. Oh, did you hear that he got a new car? Fuck him. There he is. And this is, this song is about America. We don't understand. What the fuck we going through? And we don't understand. Cause ain't nobody got a clue. We don't understand. Just do what we gotta do. We don't understand anything about this. We don't understand. Think you own it when you claim it when you claim it like it was free before you came here you came here divide it up call it the mainland create a tax but don't call it a slave payment thank you pretty now you got a following you feed them shit and they continue swallowing started with a few and now you got a lot of them you're the leader now when it's time to so like every time i've done a reaction for you and watch these videos i'm like dang antarctica is not nearly as cold as i thought it was gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <trust me. laughs> that's funny how does how does a typical 29 mck or deuce nine song begin do you do you have a particular beat maker that you constantly go to do you do is it all doi uh, yourself honestly i try to find the beats that aren't as well liked and known on beat websites like with the likes and all that because i don't want to use a beat that everybody else is using you know right and I try to use like I try to like add things that most hip hop artists wouldn't add. Although I don't, I don't even want to call myself hip hop, but I got to give myself a genre. But um, I don't know. I like horns. I like you know chill shit. You know. But uh, but going back to the shows thing, I was in bands for years. I mean, what'd you I, play? I toured with bands. Well, I started with bass back in the 90s. So, and then now I did rhythm guitar for a metal band for a few years. We went on a couple tours. Um, but, you know, I, I learned a lot about the industry and how much bullshit it is, you know? So it's like, I mean, you got to suck dick to get very little, you know, get crumbs, you know? Dang. <laughs> it's rough like that. <laughs> it's unfortunate. And the problem, and, and, and honestly, like, I try to, like, that's what I put in my music because I like being on my own because being in a band with other egos and and especially you always have that guy that's like, you know, well, we got to do this. We got to do that. We got to practice this day and, and schedule everything. It, it gets hectic, especially when you got a job and you're trying to, like, you know, make a living. You're trying to, like, put food on the fucking table and shit like that. And, dude, I don't get I don't know how people do it, man. Like, it's so fucking hard. You got to keep grinding, man. It is really hard. Do you ever thought about? But then you, these, you go, you go. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was I was wondering if you ever thought about taking a beat and adding bass and guitar to it. You know, I I thought about it, but you do it. I, I just I kind of just maybe maybe. maybe. I think it'd be pretty damn cool. <laughs> it'd be a lot cooler if Maybe. you did. <laughs> Deuce, uh, you're probably wondering why I asked you to bring hot sauce. I, I, don't, I don't have any. You don't have any hot sauce? No, just Taco Bell condiments laying around in, in the fridge somewhere? Those count. Actually, let me go get some. Let me go Hell get some. Yeah. I got some. Excellent. Right. Excellent. <laughs> yes, it counts. It counts. The cat, dude, the cat just... <laughs> That's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What because just like, happened? hey, yo, what the? What just happened? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah, we're hanging out with 29MCK, which we just found out was originally born in Antarctica, but now lives on the East Coast. Uh, please support him if, you got, if you're feeling his music, and we're going to do some trivia with him here in just a second. All right. It counts. Hey. What you got? I'll take it. I'll take it. It says the words hot sauce on it. It is hot sauce. Hell yeah. Before we do the trivia. I'm not, I'm not much of a spicy guy, you know? All right, just a little quick swig if I can stump you. But here's the thing. You get to pick the trivia topic. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. The Office. The Office Heard. Tell me about human filth. What is that? I know what it is, but maybe Human people are watching filth. don't know what it is. Well, it's kind of like goes in with my music. It's like I just I'm trying to like it's it, it's crazy because who would want to wear a shirt that says Human Filth on it? You know what I mean? They were like, oh, I'm not Human Filth. Well, you're probably part of the fucking problem. But what I'm saying is like people need to open their minds to that shit. Like what we're doing, like as a society, like I feel like the, the route we're taking is just not a route that's best for our future and future generations because it's, it's the problem is it's it's about this individuality bullshit and it's about me 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 it's about my tiktok it's about this and that. that's why i don't get much support like because too many me's dude not enough us's you know not enough I us agree. i like that Human filth is human filth is here to slap the shit back into their fucking minds and say hey stop being a fucking zombie and stop being a, a fucking a hustle worshiper living in your parents' mansion. You know? Smack them back stop in society. I like leave, the way you word it. Stop trying to leave a legacy that no one's going to remember. Because guess what? In 100 years, no one's going to remember any of us. Come on. We're going to do our best to be remembered, but you're Look right. You're, we you're... are on a space rock in the middle of a universe that is somehow growing. This This is nothing. This is nothing. Well, the office... People don't get it. They think that their shit doesn't stink. <laughs> and it does. This, this, is the, this is the office trivia, which you have selected right here. In season four, there's an episode called Local Ad. Dwight is shown playing a game on his computer, and it is revealed that Dwight has created a character in a game. What game was Dwight playing on his computer? Fuck. It's like real life. I can't, I can't give you any hints. He, he, uh, okay, I'll Shit. give you a small hint. He designed this character and and gave his own name. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Assistant to, to the regional the manager. Game, dude. It's such a small little minuscule thing in the in the episode. You, uh, I think I'm that's say Dwight's real life. That is officially a stump. <clears throat> Enjoy the hot sauce. It was the second life, and I'm gonna do some hot sauce oh, with you. Okay. I'll do some Australia, Australian yeah. Sydney screaming. Me and JB will hit some hot sauce with you. Uh, what song would you like us to play second? You can only do the YouTube videos. I'm on it because I'm on Apple Music. I can go Spotify also if that helps. And they also have my songs on YouTube, I think. I've got seven of them on YouTube. Um, Either way, here's the hot sauce. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Sorry. You want to do one of the Tom McDonald disses? <laughs> sure. 
crickets or the other one? Whichever one you'd like better. Let's go crickets. <laughs> Good beat. Uh, I like this motherfucker right here. We're hanging out with Deuce Nine. Phone Side is. project called 29 MCK. Uh, Support him. McDonald must be related to Ron. Yeah, how the hell is could he make it? Sucking dick for some stardom. They might not, but I can see right through you. Rap about shit you can't change, so screw you. What are you, dude? Fake woke, getting screwed. Deal dough with no lube, making dough, being rude. I'm sorry that your fans might give you an attitude, but I guess they're dumb for feeding in the corny ass tunes. You complain a lot. You a big boy, huh? Well, welcome to the real streets where the big boys stomp. Go back to 1990, go get some Reebok pumps, and you can try to figure out. What kind of freak I was You wanna get rich quick H.O.G. bottom lip Is that they where they put their dick While they making you hits We all know time The world is screwed Close to 8 billion problems And one of them is you You're not special You're just stupid and famous You're only the shit While coming out of the name It's just a young prima donna Who's trying to be dangerous Well I'm up for a challenge So what you wait your bitch Hell yeah. So uh what is your what's your goals for the rest of twenty twenty three as far as what you would like to accomplish with any music project that you have personally? You know, I'd like to, uh, honestly, this year's going to be a tough year for me. I uh, I got two eye surgeries. Well, I had one eye surgery last month, and I'm still not back to work yet. Um, then I have to get another eye surgery in June, and hopefully I'll be, I'll be out of work another month for that. And then I got, uh, I got married last year. Hey, congratulations. We're doing a honeymoon in October. Yeah, thank you, man. Where are you, where are you going uh, for the honeymoon? We're doing our we're going to Iceland, dude. What? Hell yeah, what? man. The opposite of Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Hell yeah. So, do you know anybody in Iceland? Or, and how did you guys come to that Fuck that no. pick for, for the honeymoon? Dude, I just want to see the Northern Lights before they go away for a while. They're, they're going to go. They go away. Uh, I think it's another three years. And then they, they take a hibernation. Oh, I didn't know that. So you won't be able to see them. Hell yeah. But but luckily we had our wedding we had a lot of people give us money so we can pay for the trip, you know. So that was cool. Kudos for the the donos for the wedding. That's awesome. JB, yeah, uh what's another question that you got? You know, my question is going back to the Antarctica being born on a ship. Was it like a military ship or was it like was your your family traveling for the time, and then uh oh, she's in labor, or like what what happened? Well, I I was born early. Um, it was unexpected. It was on a uh, it was a scientific refuge or some shit like that. It was scientists wow. and stuff like that. So my mom was part of the group, and uh, yeah, man, it was wild. That's amazing, dude. Thank you for, uh, for sharing. That's awesome. And yeah. it's like my father left us, and then I don't know. Like everybody thinks that like I grew up. I, I grew up well. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like I, I grew up. My family was cool. Like we we, we lived a mid middle class life. I like you know it was chill. And I got a lot of good toys and shit. And then when my parents got divorced, my dad left. Like fuck, had moved to the city. <laughs> The uh the bad part of town, you know what I mean? I hear you, man. Dang. I get you. And we go from there. And it's like and I'm not trying to say, you know, oh poor me, but I'm saying like I get it. I get both sides of the spectrum, dude. I mean, obviously I wasn't rich, but I mean, dude, literally, like I lived the good life and I also lived the shit life. I mean like, I don't know. I've just I've seen a lot of shit in my life. I get that. I've I've had and months I'm, where we we survived off uh macaroni hot dog for <laughs> for dinner for every day so i get that homie so thank you so yeah, much man it, you yeah, and it's like you know I, 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 it's not about me it's about just understanding other people's struggles you know like i get it you know like <laughs> i was in a coma I, I had to relearn how to walk again i had to relearn how to do everything again it took me like two years to get back on my feet Wow, you know, like that was, was that from the same brain injury. Yeah, I was gonna say from the same brain injury accident. Yeah, 
So, and that I saved two kids' lives and risked my own, you know? Amazing. But, uh, yeah, good times, man. But now I'm here, you know, and that was a long time ago. So it's like, you know, the, you know, when you're younger, you get all your, all these friends and shit and you grow up and you just start, you know, drifting apart, you know? So. Good times, bad times. Friends is one thing I, I could probably call like two people right now that I can really depend on maybe. And <laughs> that's it. And really like that. I don't need a shitload of friends. I don't need, I don't need Tom McDonald, uh, properties you know yep <laughs> uh do you want to try it's like dude look man just look look tom mcdonald yeah he came from british columbia you know what british columbia is yes canada he came from the really nice part of british columbia by the way not the shit part he tried wrestling it didn't work you know about that right i didn't know that yeah he tried to be a professional wrestler and that didn't work out. So he went to daddy and mommy and said, I want to be a rapper. You know, that's that's my view on it. Um, he met Nova. Nova was signed to Jeff Jam. Uh, she also is like a computer genius with making music videos. So he's got the resources like he he can do whatever he wants. Me, I got to wait to go into a studio, you know, because if I tried to record, I tried to record myself before, dude, and trust me, no one would want to listen to that. Would it you, like trick, would you use track. to record yourself? What, what's DAW system? Uh, it was Sonar. Okay. Okay. I think yeah. it was Sonar. We're talking years ago, but like I said, I had a guy come over to my house and teach me Pro Tools and it just, I, I couldn't get it. It just... Maybe I'm just slow. <laughs> you want to try some more office trivia, redemption trivia? Sure. I got a little bit of a a little bit of an easier one. Let's see. In the office, what award does Phyllis win at the Dundies? The furtiest beaver. Furtiest beaver. Just repeat it one more time. The buzziest beaver. The buzziest beaver. The furtiest beaver. Shit. It's the damn beaver award. Buzziest beaver, which is actually busiest, is correct. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Did I get it? That yeah. is correct. Yeah. Is it buzziest or busiest? Either way, I'll take busiest, it. Busiest. I'll take it. You know, it's funny. I was in Scranton, PA this year, driving through. I, I traveled what? for New Year's. And... We went to Scranton and we went to Cooper's, which is like the seafood place they eat at there in the show. Oh, yeah. And they got this gift shop, dude. And it's got all the fucking Dundees. <laughs> you oh, can buy that them. is cool. That's great, dude. That is cool. We have to, me and JB have to take a shot real quick. Have you ever thought about having like a, like a big time MC or somebody as a feature just to help with numbers and stuff? I don't know, man. Honestly, big time ones, they probably want too much money. Sometimes they do. It's true. Yeah. Like, I just read a article about one rapper. He wanted like 200 grand for a feature. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. A feature? Yeah, it sounds like Drake. It's like eight bars, dude. It sounds like Drake. Uh, is that Tom Snoop? McDonald? Was that <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Snoop Dogg uh cost 250k and then for a music video an additional 250k we yeah, we that, almost that. had See, snoop if i win the lottery if i win the lottery my rap career is over dude i'm out like <laughs> i know when to stop <laughs> when back this is way back in the day it's gotta be 15 years ago snoop wanted 14 years ago snoop wanted 100k and then at the time, he wanted 50K for the video appearance, but it required, like, his own trailer, his own makeup person, his own, uh, like, his own personal everything. So it was literally, like, 100K and then 75K. So his, his, his valuation has gone up a little bit for sure. And, I mean, he, he deserves it. He's Snoop. But mm -hmm. that's a lot of money. If you're not already, like, crazy nah. successful. Dude, honestly, I feel like Snoop Dogg got in the game at the right time with the right style. That's it. Because if Snoop Dogg came out today, he would be nobody. Who who are two or three of your like personal favorite MCs of all time? 
you know, I feel like rap has become a lot of trash lately. And like, I, I would say Mac Miller, but Mac Miller is kind of too collegey for me. You know what I mean? Like it's, that's for college kids. That's like incubus for, you know, rap music. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He'll be here all day, dis uh, dissing everybody I, left I and right. I grew up to like Capone and Noriega. Okay. Nas. Yep. The whole Tupac Biggie thing, whatever. Tupac was an actor. Um, Biggie was all right. I mean, and I hate people that say LL Cool J was a good MC. He wasn't. Um. But it's about respect in that, you know, matter. Because what he did at the time, because rap wasn't rap, you know? And I guess Eminem, dude, Eminem changed the game. And and he'll be forgotten in 100 years, but so will I. I'll be, I'll be forgotten in 10, dude. What's your opinion on, like, like, J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick's good. I like Kendrick. Um, J. Cole never really dived in too deep. I know I should have, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'd rather listen to Justin Bieber. Hey, really? <laughs> I, I, I will. I will say, dude, if you have the chance, jam some J Cole. He had this twenty dollar, okay. twenty dollar tour where wherever he toured in the United States, it was twenty dollars to go see him, and he has the same mentality you do, and he reminded me a lot like him. So if you can cool. jam so, something like uh, some of his music, I think you'd love him. Hell yeah. See, the thing is, I don't really go to shows anymore. Well, I can't get a hit in the head, first of all. And I just, I, dude, it's tough because being, when, when you've been on stage so much, it's hard to be in the crowd, you know? I get that. What yeah. was the name, what was the name of the really metal band is. that you toured with? Dead Atlantic. Oh, what? I feel like I know that. Yeah. Yeah, because they were on your show, dude. Oh, Okay. But were you in the group at the time or no? No, no. I was in the group for their first album and halfway through the second. And then I quit. Gotcha. It happens sometimes. Wow. Yeah. Just tensions got tough. It, we kept changing members and it just, I don't know. I was putting a lot of money into that band and I, I just couldn't do it no more. I love the guys to death, but we had fun, dude. And we experienced a lot. And that's all that matters. Like, no hidden, you know, no regrets. Like, no. No hate, no nothing. That's cool. Uh, we've only got time for a couple I more. No JB, what would be uh, your final question for Deuce? Um, Deuce, my my fa my final question would be: If you had a lasting like a lasting like impression you want to tell this world with your music, um, like a message, what would you want to tell us? You are not special. You're not special. No one's special. No one's perfect. Just be. Like, help one another to just get through, man. I figure, I feel like they say that the rich and the 2% and all that bullshit, like, if everybody just really got together, you know, race aside, educational aside, financial aside, it just got together and fucking, like, just, we would all live really fucking awesome lives, dude. But here you got a little bit of people that are living these great lives looking down at us laughing and saying ha and they're the ones saying you got to work hard you got to do 80 hours a week you got to pay them taxes so you can live like me and have a lamborghini and a big house those are the guys saying that shit that's a good answer i guess they're, yeah. they're sleeping on yeah, their cotton baby 2000 thread count <laughs> <laughs> As as my my last question would be would be a band related question. As someone that has toured extensively, what what would you what would your advice be to a band that might be watching that is about to go on their first van? Would say you have Man to pack. Shit, dude. Plan ahead, plan ahead, because you do not want to be caught sleeping in your van with five other stinky dudes in a van in a fucking Walmart parking lot, because. It sucks, especially when you get older. Like when I was 21, I could have did that, you know. But now at my age, fuck that. I ain't doing that shit. I, my back was killing me, dude. And then on the way home, the AC broke, and I had to pay for that. But I don't know. Just 
it was uh, just stop making it about being big and being signed and making money. Just have fun with your friends, dude. Memories, that's all you got. I don't know if they go with us when we leave this place, but I mean, literally, like when I went on tour, it was about just having fun and just seeing how other people lived in different cities, having the road troubles we had, like the van breaking down, like getting through it together rather than bitching and pissing and moaning, you know? Show yeah, must go on. Shit, dude. When, when our uh, water pump went up, we were coming down Route 68, I think, and dude, them fucking uh, pistons were banging, boy. We were like, dude, we're going to blow a head gas here. Like, we got to pull over. This is not cool. And, my bass player, he was funny as shit, dude. He was like a hippie. And he, like, walked out, and, like, he's sitting on the grass, and he's holding his head. I'm like, you okay, dude? He's like, dude, I really need some weed right now. <laughs> and the way he said it, dude, I was like, holy shit, dude. Motherfucker's addicted to weed. <laughs> <laughs> so plan ahead. Make sure you, you holler at a mechanic before you hit the road just to, oh, dub yeah, just to double check everything. And uh, Walmart's 24 hours, so why are you sleeping? Yeah, like the, uh, the the van we bought, it was last minute because we had a van set up, but it fell through. Then we had bought this van from this couple, dude. And God, they were probably like 800 pounds between the two of them. And we got it at a decent price, but the van, it wasn't the great. It had leather interior, which was nice. But the guy was like, oh, we, we, you know, we drove all the way to the other side of America and back, you know, two times in this van. It's great. And I was like, oh, God, I can't imagine what they did in this van. So we had to, like, get the alcohol wipes and the bleach and fucking wipe that whole thing down. Because I was like, <laughs> I'm not sitting <laughs> in this fucking thing until I clean this motherfucker. That is There's hilarious. No way. What do you, what do you it got? Was like a 90, it was a 96 Ecoline, Ford Ecoline, whatever. And it was already pulled the trailer. And the trailer was worth more than the van. It was perfect. <laughs> Dang. Hell yeah. What do you got going on the rest of the day? Or it's you're on the East Coast, so no, it's nine thirty, right? Oh, it's past my bedtime, dude. Okay, so you're catching some Z's here in a minute and count some sheep. Nah, I'll probably stay up and play some uh Call of Duty or something. Mobile? Nah, on, on the yeah. Xbox. Nobody ever yeah, says dude, yes like to I said, that. I've been off work for three weeks. So it I, my mind is just I, I feel like I feel out of shape. I feel like I just haven't been because when you get eye surgery, you're not allowed to lift things for like two mo two weeks, and it, it just it's a pain in the dick. And I was supposed to go back to work Monday, yesterday, and my eye just isn't it's not ready. So uh, got you. Well, we wish you speedy health, brother. Uh, we yeah, appreciate man. your time being on here, chatting, dissing Thank everybody, you. but at the same time, this is a lot of fun and laughs, man. And uh, <laughs> we su we support you. If you guys enjoyed this interview, uh, man, if it's okay with you, can I throw this on YouTube later tonight? Yeah, dude, and we should do it again sometime. Yeah, we'll we'll do a follow up, uh, maybe like four or five months from now. Catch up. Yeah, maybe we've got some new stuff out. We'll be able to jam it and plug and promote. I know. It. I got one song, dude. I can't wait to release this song. This is. I got PTSD, and like my therapist. When I had a therapist, I recently you know quit because it's all about money. Fuck that place. Um, like she told me to like write a song about my what my PTSD what goes on in my mind. It's pretty wild, dude. So I can't wait. Ooh, exciting. It's a little different from my normal stuff, but it's still right, got cool. you know the funny shit and all that. But it's uh it, it's about it, it's about life. It isn't really. It's of course it's about the human race and how fucked up we are. But uh, yeah, it's more it's more towards the life thing, dude, and like you know how I feel and. I just, it, I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, dude, freaking out. Like, me and my wife will be in Target. And, dude, just too many people around me. And I just scream really loud. I'm like, babe, we got to go. <laughs> Dang. That's hardcore. Everybody's looking at me like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? I'm like, I just don't like fucking too many people around me, man. Like, it, it freaks me the fuck out. I agree. I feel you. For sure. Well, man, we appreciate your time, Deuce. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we'll yep. do, we'll do a follow up in a couple months. We'll chit chat some more, jam some new stuff. But other than that, have an excellent night, get some rest, and uh, enjoy your evening, sir. Yep. This is Deuce Nine. Peace out. Fuck Tom McDonald. <laughs> Deuce yeah, Nine. Fuck that guy. Also of Twenty Nine MCK. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs>
Peace.